What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how different jig skirts act under different water temperatures. So basically what I did is I took the old jig jacuzzi and we took some water, put a bunch of ice in it and chilled it down to right around that 32 to 35 degree mark. And then I tested a bunch of jig skirts. We tested a silicone jig skirt. We tested a fine rubber jig skirt, tested a, a medium round rubber skirt, and also tested a big square rubber, uh, just old school mop style jig. Um, then what I did is I went and basically turned the faucet on as hot as it went, took the temperature, it was right around the 100 degree mark, and then tested all the same jigs again. So got a really good one extreme to the other kind of test of like what do these jig skirts do in these different water conditions so let's take a look at it all right this is the jig we're starting out with first it's just a standard silicone jig that's typical to anything you pick up at bass pro shops all right putting it in the cold water first you can really see how this jig just there's not a ton of crazy action to it. The silicone is very slow move, moving. Like it takes a lot of bouncing around in order to get that jig to really flare. All right, this is where it gets crazy. We put it in the 100 degree water. You can immediately see how much faster that silicone just spreads out. Like it's got a lot more action to it. It's a lot more... There's a lot more action to this silicone skirt in that hotter water compared to that colder water. We're going to go back and look at this colder water here real quick right now. And like I said, it's just, it's amazing how big the difference is. All right, this is the next jig we're looking at. It's just a fine old school rubber. I believe it's Andy's Custom Jigs or something like that that makes this style of rubber. Let's take a look at it in cold water. All right, I want to preface this by saying that this jig does have some silicone in it, but it's crazy to see that you can see all those silicone strands are really sticking together, but the old school rubber is expanding, and it's, pro it's providing a lot more movement than the silicone is. All right, when we dunk the same jig in hot water, it's just like the silicone. It's crazy how much more action that this jig has compared to the cold water version. It's just so much more action. All right, this is the third style of jig we're looking at, and this is a medium round rubber. I've got all the links to all of these different kinds of silicone and rubber and all the materials down in the description, so check there if you want to check these out. But this is what a medium round rubber jig looks like in cold water. All right, first impressions of this jig is that in this colder water, it does almost seem to have a little bit more action than the really fine rubber did in the cold water. Um, I know that this is a really popular style of jig when it gets really, really cold out, and you can see just as it sits there, it's just got a lot of little secondary motion, but it's still not crazy. But when we dip it in the hotter water, this is the jig that I feel like has the least amount of change compared to all the other ones that we've looked at so far. Yeah, it's faster, but it's not its not much crazier like the silicone was. All right, the last kind of jig we're going to look at is old Crazy Legs, the big square rubber old school mop style jig. So let's take a look at it in cold water. All right, so in the colder water, there's just not a ton of action to it. I mean, it's a big, big profile, and there's some subtle action. But if you look, when it kind of sits still, which we'll hear in a second, it just doesn't have a ton of extra motion to it. It just kind of sits there. All right, much like the medium rubber, when we put it in the hot water, it's still, it's it's not a drastic difference in change of action, but there is some more secondary action to it. It does move around a lot more than what it did in the cold weather, or cold water, but again, just big profile. 
All right, after looking at all those in the water, I've kind of drawn some conclusions from myself. Take them or leave it. You've got the video evidence to prove it. Make your own decisions based on that. But from what I saw is that that more round rubber style jig or the big square rubber had more action in the colder water. The silicone skirt kind of stuck together. And I mean, they all, they first of all, they all had a lot more action under that really hot water compared to the cold water. But I felt like that silicone jig in that colder water really kind of just kind of stuck together didn't flare out as much and it just kind of looked more meh compared to the actual rubber jigs now when it got to the hot water is the complete opposite side of the spectrum the difference with the round rubber and the actual older school style rubber in the hotter water in my opinion was that it it moved more similar to how it did in the colder water, but the difference was with that silicone skirt. In that hot water, that thing puffed out crazy and got all big and just had a ton of action. So that really kind of solidified to me, like, like okay, why are silicone skirts more popular in the warmer months, but then also in the colder months, the either a finesse uh, round rubber or medium rubber or that big square rubber is really really popular in the winter months so that was kind of a look for me as to why that's the case if you like this video check out the ones where we actually made some of these jigs and subscribe for more stuff to come thanks guys see ya